What up, soul fam? So, I had a video, a witchy vlog, that I recorded that I forgot to post. And then I deleted it. I don't know why I deleted it. I should have just posted it. But, um, in that video, I it was really snowy and I was driving through the snowstorm and I said spring is coming I mean literally I know spring is coming but because of you know the weather and the planet and and sometimes it snows in March <laughs> sometimes it snows in May <laughs> so you really just don't know but you know even though there's all this snow around I, I had a message come in saying that spring is is almost here and we're gonna start seeing flowers I was given an image of like tulips popping up through the melting snow and also I seen an image of these um, like bells these little flowers that look like bells they're they're white and they kind of hang over like this um, they just look like little bells hanging like that I saw an image of those in the forest. So spring is in the air. And then I walked out. All right, real, real quick. I have to stop talking just to show you guys this. Do you guys see that chemtrail right there? Do you guys see that? And then there, it's like it's covering up like this black line in the sky. And then there's literally a chemtrail over the black line. I know the naughty beaver. Um, he lives in Canada. He he uh, he's seen this before, and he showed it on one of his, you know, on his channel in one of his videos, and he called it a glitch in the matrix. Man, I haven't seen a chemtrail in like a fat minute, but then again, I haven't really seen the sky because it's always snowing, cold, cloudy. So when there's sunshine, I try to enjoy it, but this is weird. I haven't seen like, yeah, something's going on up there. Always keep your eyes to the sky. I always keep my eyes to the sky. I usually like to walk around and take pictures, but since I moved into this new house, I really haven't done any of the things that I normally do. Well, I really can't see because it's bright. <laughs> I don't have my sunglasses in here either. I have sensitive eyes sometimes. Sometimes they're not this sensitive, but right now all of a sudden it's really sensitive. Um, but yeah, so I just walked outside right now and this, this smell hit me like earth and it reminded me of the video that I recorded for you guys that I failed to post. And then another message came through spring is in the air. That's what I heard. Spring is in the air. And then I, before I sat in the car, I just took a big deep breath and it smelled like spring. Like I could smell mud and dirt and wetness and I could smell the trees. I could smell, this is gonna sound weird. I could smell the birth of leaves and flowers. <laughs> I don't know what that means to you, but to me like that, that smell is like birth, like nature's birth, not like human birth. Like nature's birth is, is it's she's birthing I don't know I know that sounds weird but um I don't know just that that odor of nature just made me feel really fucking great and I feel happy because I love spring I mean my favorite season is autumn but I mean I love spring I love spring Winter, I'm not so crazy about winter. I mean, I love, I like the snow. I like looking at the snow. I think it's pretty, but I do not like to be cold. I don't like to be hot either, but like spring and autumn, those two seasons, they're not too hot. They're not too cold. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy summer, but I only enjoy it if I'm going to lay in the sun and go swimming. I don't like to do like yard work when I'm when it's 90 degrees and humid I don't like that shit I don't like when I can't breathe I don't like when it makes me feel too hot and makes me dizzy so I really do enjoy you know spring I love seeing the leaves coming I love seeing the flowers blooming 
it's just oh, I just love it I just love it we survived like if you could get Pat because uh, we're getting out of the darkness and there's a lot of death that happens you know I want to say from December until like May a lot of people um, experience a lot of death in their family and in their life they a lot of people that they know you know they die during that time that I at least that's what I noticed a lot of people die during the cold month it's the dark season it's like the season of transition not to say that that's the only time people die but it just seems like a lot more souls transition during that time I don't know if that has something to do with the cycle of, you know, whatever kind of star being that you are. If that's the, <laughs> that's the, um, you know, the soul that you take, the soul path that you take is to transition during the dark, you know, phase. Or if you, you know, opted for the light phase or whatever, the birthing phase, you, you, you transition during birth. I don't know. Transition during death. <laughs> the quiet season. I don't know. Anyways, there was something else I wanted to talk about in that video that I didn't post. So I started doing this new meditation at night. I like binaural beats, but I came across some information about the, um, the Monroe Institute, the gateway meditation technique or the Monroe, the Monroe, oh God, what is it called? I know it's from the Monroe Institute and it's the gateway meditation. It's on YouTube. Um, the CIA has done a lot of research on this. So I was like, let me, let me, let me try it. Let me sample it. Let me see what all this hype is about. Let me tell you, I had the ultimate experience. It was amazing. It was amazing. The talk down going into this meditation to astral travel. That's the one I, I decided that I wanted to do was the astral travel. So I was talked down and then all of a sudden boom I was like at first I didn't know that I was out of my body I thought I was dreaming but then something in my room made a noise and then I realized I was not dreaming I was actually um, awake but I was like not under a spell but I was very relaxed and I was outside of my body and once I realized that I was outside of my body and that noise was something physical in my room, all of a sudden the guy was talking and I and I made connection with conscious and unconscious, both of me. And then there was a man with me. It was my husband, but it didn't look like my husband, but it was um, a man. Real quick, I just seen a man and then real quick it was just the image like the body of a man and it was all darkness like stars and dark it was like he was the universe but in the shape of a body and I turned around to walk out the door and he says don't leave so I turned around and I was like I have to go and then he says no come here and give me a hug so I said okay so I went over there and I was holding this man that in my dream or in this reality was my husband and um, he said, just hold me. So I was holding him for a second and I remember having my head on his chest and I hear, doom, 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 doom. And then all of a sudden my body went inside his body and like I merged with him as one and then I was somewhere. It was like out there somewhere. Like, ooh, I don't even know where I was, but it was, nice it felt really like a high it felt good and then all of a sudden I was riding a bike and I had a helmet on and goggles on and at that same man body that I went through said you're free you don't need the helmet take it off so I take my helmet off I throw it I take my goggles off I throw it he goes you don't even need to use your hands because I was riding a bike so I just take my hands off the steering wheel and I was just riding and then I was going faster and faster and then he was like you're free you're free and the wind was blowing in my face and I was just enjoying this and I was like, Wee! I don't know, it was just like fun. It felt like a long time. 
I was doing this, but literally it was like a 40 minute meditation. Then all of a sudden when he, when the man that put me into this meditative state was taking me out, all of a sudden I, I was like, I don't want to go. And he was, it was like, I have to go. It's time to come back into my body. So as I was coming back into my body, now I'm, I, I'm loose that I can hear the man talking and he's talking me up like out he's talking me out of this state of mind you know because he put me into that astral travel now he's taking me out putting me back into my body so okay I'm like oh wow and then that's when I realized I was astral traveling I was not dreaming I was astral traveling but the way my brain interpreted it to me you know to, to this human self it was I'm free I'm free I was flying I was out there enjoying myself um, so now I'm awake and I'm like, oh, that was cool. But you know, he wasn't done with the whole bringing me out of the astral travel. And I didn't think I needed to listen to it because I'm like, oh, well, that was fun. That was cool. I did it. So then I paused the video and I got up to go pee. But when I got up, I was like, whoa, really lightheaded and out of it. Like, like here and not here. And then I heard a little voice saying, you need to finish the meditation. He needs to bring you all the way out. And I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. And I'm like, like really out of it. Like I couldn't really walk. Like I felt drugged. So I lay back in the bed and I'm laying there. And then I, I thought to myself, wow, what if I really don't allow this man to take me all the way out? Something could happen to me. And I'm like, all right, put my headphones back in. <laughs> and I press play and I let the man take me all the way out. When he took me all the way out, I felt a sensation into my body. Like it was like the rest of me entered this avatar. And when he was finally done and he and he finished it and, and did the countdown and I, he told me to open my eyes. When I got up, I felt normal. I felt whole, like I felt like, like I wasn't drugged anymore. But it was an amazing experience and um, you know, I recommend it for you guys if you want to try it and see what happens, you know, see if you guys experience anything really fucking rad because it was amazing. I mean, I've astral traveled before, but nothing like I experienced the other night. Also, um, if I can remember, I'll try to put the link in the, in this video. Also, um, yeah, I have merch. Yay! Gabby has merch. Tank tops. I, I pressed some tank tops, t-shirts, hoodies, and I reopened my Etsy shop. It's been years since I've had that shop open. Actually, I couldn't remember my password or email, so I had to recreate a new one, but I'm really curious to see what's in my old one. <laughs> but I reopened my shop and I have crystals. I have my mojo dolls. I have the clothes. I have salt baths. I have a whole bunch of cool stuff. I put the link in my Instagram bio if you guys are interested to see what's in the shop. All right, guys, I'm at my dad's house. Somebody was plowing. wonder if it was my dad. Hmm. Better go check on him. Well, I'm here anyways. All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for listening. And if I forget to post that meditating link in this video just comment down below and remind me and I will pin it in the comments area all right um I feel like there was something else I wanted to say to you guys I'm ending and it's 11 o'clock <laughs> I love you guys Mwah! bye